Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our second of three personal breaks this evening and this time we're getting into two hobby boxes of the brand new 2023 top Star Wars signature series for ENT from Kansas. So thank you so much Ian for letting me open up some more Star Wars for you here on the channel and hope to find you two awesome cards to add to your collection. Now, Star Wars Signature Series came and went super quick. It just released this past Friday, and now we are completely sold out. We have went through all of the boxes here. These are the last two remaining, and I'm hoping we end off with some really cool pulls here for Ian. I will say, I do like this year's base design and variation design much more so than last year's, although I will say the product has been a lot of fun. It hasn't quite been the most impressive, so really hoping to end off with a bang because there are some awesome names in this checklist. A couple of first-time signers. You do have Diego Luna as Cassian. You have Lupita Nyong'o as Maz Kanata from The Force Awakens. So there's some really, really cool new signers, returning signers. We haven't seen them yet, so hoping we can find a couple in these two boxes. Also, before I jump on into these, would like to briefly mention that I am still in the running for the Cosplay Star competition. So if you all could spare a few seconds of your day to go cast your completely free daily votes, I would greatly appreciate it. You can vote once every 24 hours, so please go ahead and check out that pinned comment down below with the link, and it's also available in the description as well. But anyways, back to business here. One in case autograph card per box. No more, no less. Let's see what we find here for Ian by snapping us into the corner. All right, Tiny Knife is ready to go. Here we go with our first box. We'll say these openings go by is so quick. That's what happens when there's only one card per box. All right, here we go. Starting off with a base autograph with a pretty scratched up case. Tops, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know why all the card companies, not just Tops, Panini, and Upper Deck do it as well when there's an encased product. The cases don't look so good. But we do have Caroline Blakiston here as Mon Mothma. Ian, not sure if you could buff that out, maybe. Seen some comments mentioning that headlight polish for cars works wonders on magnetics, but I haven't tried it myself. But yes, first autograph, do have the base auto here, Mon Mothma. All right, so let's get you protected in this oversized team bag. That way you can't get scratched up any further. So, all right, base auto to start. Come on, let's finish off super strong. Come on. I want to see something crazy. I want to see something crazy. Previous years at a signature series, we found Hayden Christensen. We found one of ones. We found Ewan McGregor, I believe, at a signature series. Or was it... Yeah, we had a black Ewan McGregor. We had a Hayden Christensen out of 10. Last year, we had Amelia Clark number to 10. So this year, we haven't seen anything crazy. Come on. This is our last chance. Come on. Whew. All right. Last box here for Ian. Let's see. We are finishing off with Dave, uh, David Pisquesi, I believe, uh, as the Twilight Major Domo from the Book of Boba Fett. So, yeah, David Pisquesi here as the Major Domo from Book of Boba. Now, his signature wasn't that easy to find in the Book of Boba Fett's uh, hobby boxes that came out towards the end of last year, but it is indeed another base auto, so... That will do it here for Ian's boxes. This case is better for sure than the Mon Moth Bump, but still not perfect. I don't think we've actually had any perfect case out of Signature Series this year. All right, two base autos to wrap things on off here for Ian. So, Ian, I hope that I was able to get you at least two new autos for your collection. I know you're a big Ventress fan. Unfortunately, did not find her here this time around. But let me finish closing that and... Always got to do a brief recap. I know there's two cards, but we'll look at them again. David Pasquesi and Caroline, Caroline Blakiston. So Twilight Major Domo and Mon Mothma here for Ian. So thank you so much, Ian, for letting me open up more Star Wars for you here. I hope that you enjoyed the opening. And like I said, got you some new autographs, hopefully for your collection, and that you enjoy them both. But with that, that does wrap off our signature series this year. So our lowest numbered card, we had a Laura Dern number to five. Second lowest, we had an orange variation John Boyega number to ten. So nothing super crazy this year out of signature series, but a lot of really nice signers. Definitely a product with a lot of potential. So still a fun rip. I've enjoyed opening these on up. 
would have liked to find like a red 101 end off of the bang here for Ian. But like I said, I hope that Ian enjoyed the opening and that there's some new cards for his collection. I'll be out there watching. I hope you enjoyed the opening as well. So if you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments from me, drop those down below. What has been your favorite pull out of Signature Series this year? Let me know. I haven't been able to watch like other case openings and whatnot. So let me know what the coolest card that you've seen is. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Last but not least, before I get out of our Star Wars openings tonight, do have to finish this video off with an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans, Andon, Devon, Mako, MT, Sean F, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have six Gem Mint fans, Bamboo, Geriatric Geek, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Woots 0005. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But with that, that does wrap this one off. That wraps off our Star Wars. Third and final opening tonight, we're going to get into some TCG product with some Y Shorts Data Live Volume 2. So if you like anime, stay tuned for that up next. If you're interested in more Star Wars, not sure when the next product's going to release, to be honest. Not quite sure when that'll be. Hopefully we hear some news about Masterwork maybe this weekend for Star Wars Celebration. And we'll get an official release date announcement from Tops or something like that. But anyways, that does finish this one off. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next video. Bye.